The first time people hear about friction welding, they usually ask, how does it work? There is always a disbelief in their reaction when describing the process to them. They could not believe the extraordinary good properties described to them. All one sees is a rotating tool pushing through material. Usually there are no fumes, spattering red glowing material, and the noise is quite low, making it difficult to believe that such a simple process can produce such good joints. This video aimed to give an overview of friction welding, its types, and its great importance in our technology today. Welcome to James Sword Research Channel. Do ensure to watch till the end, like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notification for more content. What is friction welding? Friction welding is a solid state welding process that weld workpieces by generating heat through mechanical friction between workpieces in relative motion to one another. And at the same time, a lateral force called upset is applied to the parts in order to plastically displace and fuse the material. Brief history of friction welding. Some application and patents connected with friction welding were dated back to the turn of the century. And rotary friction welding is the oldest of these methods. W. Richter patented the method of linear friction welding process in 1924 in England and 1929 in Germany. However, the description of the process was vague. H. Klostruck patented the same process in the USSR in 1924. First description and experiment related to rotary friction welding took place in the Soviet Union in 1956. Another method was invented and experimentally proven at the Welding Institute in the UK and patented in 1991 as friction stir welding. Today, friction welding is conducted worldwide with various materials for both scientific studies and industrial applications. What are the four phases of friction welding? The process has four distinct phases which are the initial phase, transition phase, equilibrium phase, deceleration phase, types of friction welding process. 1. Friction stir welding. Friction stir welding uses a special tool with a cylindrical shoulder and a profiled pin to create welds. The pin drives along the seam of the workpieces until the shoulder rests on the seam. The tool then rotates, where the friction between the shoulder and the seam soften the metal. 2. Friction stir spot welding. Friction stir spot welding is one of the types of friction stir welding with one major difference. In friction stir welding, the tool is moved along the seam of the workpiece. However, in friction stir spot welding, the tool is rotated at a spot and not moved. It spins and creates a weld, and the tool is lifted up, creating an exit hole where the profile pin was injected. 3. Linear friction welding. This type is similar to spin welding, except that one of the material oscillates laterally in relation with the other at high speed, with high compressive force. 4. Rotary friction welding. One welded element is rotated to the other and pressed down. The process uses compressive axial force and high rotational speed. This combination causes the plasticizing of the two materials, eventually leading to a bond between the two materials. Types of joint in friction welding. A friction welding joint is sometimes referred to as interface, fusion or bond. And it's a point or edge where two or more pieces are joined together by friction. The industry has six basic types of friction joint that have been defined. The origin of this basic joint types date back to the Soviet Union. They are 1. Tube to tube. They are tubular, have equal outside diameter and equal inside diameter. 2. Tube to bar. They are tubular, have equal outside diameter and unequal inside diameter. 3. Tube to disc. They are tubular, have unequal outside diameter and equal inside diameter. 4. Tube to plate. They are tubular, have unequal outside diameter and unequal inside diameter. 5. Bar to bar. They are solid and have equal diameter. 6. Bar to plate. They are solid and have unequal diameter. Advantages of friction welding. Wide variety of metal can be welded by this process. High efficiency of weld. No filler metal required. High welding speed. Welding strength is strong in most cases. Easily automated. 
Disadvantages of friction welding. Limitation to workpiece design. Material that cannot be forged won't weld. Preparation of workpiece is more critical. Welding equipment is of high cost. Friction welding application. The following are the various industries or places where friction welding is being used. For welding tubes and shafts. Used in gear levers, drill bits, connecting rods, etc. Used in aerospace, automobile, marine and oil industries. Used in pump for welding pump shaft. Used in axle, tube and valves. Used in electrical industries for welding copper and aluminum equipment. Used to replace forging or casting assembly.